everybody. So, I received my December subscription box or from a, our atelier yesterday. It took a month to get to me, which is fine because I know with the holiday um, mail and, you know, all of that, I knew it was going to take a while. So, let's go ahead and open it up. And see what we got. Okay. All right. So first thing I'll do is grab the stamp that's included for the month. I did go ahead and order the January box, so let's see if it gets to me a little bit quicker this time. Like I said, I don't mind that it takes a while because I know how it is. It's shipping directly from China. Wow, this one is really nice. I like it. It's a pretty big stamp too. All right. These are little cards, it looks like. I think, yeah, it's a book with a little let me go ahead and hold it up really close. Okay, there we go. So there's like different pictures in each of them. Making sure that it's in focus. Very cute. Here's the washi for this month. Now this was a... Um, I think the theme for this this month was, wasn't it fairies, I think? Something like that. So I always like the washi that Rosie includes because it's, you know, really great for like uh, junk journals and mixed media. Like a very kind of collage looking um, type. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Sorry, I'm shaking the uh, tripod here. So, okay, and then we got the stamp set, which um, are different flowers, which are listed here on the um, outside um, display on the box. And that's the stamp, obviously, the rubber stamp. So we've got some little cards. Yes, it's supposed to be like winter fairies, holiday fairies. Sorry about that. <laughs> I ran out of space on my card, so I had to put a new card in. So, like I said, I think the theme was winter fairies for this month. Rather, last month. And, uh, yeah, these are beautiful. So... This one's pretty full. Actually, I had it like that. There we go. Zoomed in like that. So I've got a um, wooden piece here. Okay. There's a few more. And this one looks like. Santa, probably, and a snowflake. Okay. Of course, I've got the calendar for January, which is great because I'm going to go ahead and put that in my Hobonichi um, There's a lot of little pieces, so I'm not really going to show those little pieces. I'm just going to go ahead and show like the bigger pieces because the little pieces just get everywhere and it's really hard to, to show. So I've got some um, labels here. Some old looking um, forms, I guess. Uh, what else we got here? Here's some more labels with some script. Um, 
more like script type of things. This is a pad. I've got a lot of like pages for collage. Some vellum pieces. You know, there's just a lot going on here. Okay, and then uh, another set of the wooden pieces, although in, they're in opposite colors um, from the first set. Red reindeer, white snowflakes. Okay. I've got, feels like some sticker vellum, sticker and vellum, I'm sorry. So you've got some old looking um, Santa and Christmas angels, like they're like stamps. Then you've got the vellum pieces here that are stickers. Oops, don't want that stuck on there. I've got some more, um, and these are stickers also. Looks like they can be cut out if I wanted to. Wow, there's a lot in here as you can see. Like I said, I'm not gonna pull everything out because it's just gonna get everywhere. But more labels and other vellum pieces and stickers. And then the last part, we've got some pages. I mean, even though I got this in January and I ne never got the chance to really use them for Christmas, I have stuff now I can use for next Christmas. Um, so I've got Jingle Bells here, the um, music sheet. I've got different types of um, Handmade paper with the textures. This one's pretty interesting itself right here. As you can see with the pattern. I've got some other pages here. It's got a rougher texture, but it'll be good to tear up to use for, um, to collage onto um, layouts. So yeah, this is, I mean, this did come with a lot of pieces, I think. Um, probably not, I mean, I wouldn't say more than like in the previous months, but it's a lot of pieces. So, you know, and it's not, I mean, you know, not all of it is pertaining to just Christmas. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to, I could use them for this month, which I might, you know, um, one of my goals is really to start using up all of my, um, kits that I have from, um, our atelier, not to just hoard them, you know, because they're just so pretty, but I, I definitely will start, you know, try to start using them. Um, it's just that sometimes I just don't have the time. Um, as I've said in my past video, I've been so busy at work at the clinic because we've just been getting an, a crazy amount of new patients. With the pandemic still going on, despite having the vaccine, we still are getting a lot of people that have, um, had problems with the stay at home and, you know, still trying to deal with everything that's, that's happened due to the pandemic. We have a lot of people coming in with anxiety and depression problems. I, like I said before, I work at a mental health clinic. So, um, so yeah, I get a lot of people that are upset when they call. So anyways, this is the December kit from our atelier, it's the vintage ephemera kit. And um, I'm excited to use this. So I hope everybody had a good New Year's. Safe and sound. Keep wearing your mask. Wash your hands so we can get this pandemic to go away and everything can get back to normal. And yeah. All right. I hope you all have a great week. Bye.